three point you need to exaggerate hello everyone chris malukai here welcome to cls chris land saga episode one for those who don't know me yet and that's a lot of people a lot i am a character artist and an animator and nowadays i'm going back to the basics which is 2d animation to have a better understanding of what animation is and what we have to work about and to focus our strength to have a better and effective animation so chris land saga is all about a journey of being a better artist being a better animator so i'll be sharing tips and acts about what i'm self-learning so to stay updated please subscribe now we all have seen movies tv shows video games that we really love that we are attracted to that our eyes say oh this is beautiful oh this is well designed and um there, there is a little secret behind all that so behind all those disney movies uh, all those cartoon tv show series all those video games using the stylized way to design the characters there is a uh, that little secret behind it and that secret is exaggeration so when you exaggerate some points some features about your craft you make your creation appealing so people find it great to see uh, they love to see it they, they 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 find it beautiful or cute or cutie or whatever but they like it they like it very much and how because with that exaggeration you turn your creation appealing which is funny is is that exaggeration is one of the 12 principle of animation and when you you do exaggeration when you exaggerate in your craft you make your craft appealing and appeal is also one of the 12 principle of animation so it's like a cycle a funny cycle but a good one and uh according to me these are the three points you will need to exaggerate to make your craft appealing and again this is for stylized creation stylized animation for realistic crafts you will need to reduce it a lot to have a more accurate work so i classify those, those three points randomly first line of action so it's all about having a great impact first second the shape is the same it's all about impact at first sight the stronger the better and then come colors let's get to it for line of action is when you draw your first stick figures for your for your illustration or animation i will focus on animation on this one your line of action has to be strong to have a, a, a great impact a strong impact we the the eyes of the audience have to know directly what your character is doing is he playing football is he playing basketball is he cooking or is he playing tennis or simply is he just watching tv the stronger the line the better so the eye can read and can read the attitude uh, can read what's going on next or what's just going on the best references are cartoon comics and also ancient greek statues they have a great uh, line of action so the the ancient sculptors put some dynamics on it and almost put life and so when we saw it when we saw it we could easily say oh he's drinking oh he's playing uh, the disc and whatever so remember for the line of action it's all about being readable so next we're going to shape the shape is the same the stronger the shape the better is the shape roundy curvy or more with straight lines it has to be strong it has to catch the eye to to attract the people and to keep them attached to that image and that image can be for animation 
your key posts. So this is really, really important. There are uh, a lot of uh, great reference. Uh, either your character can be bulky or just very thin or is it a, a character uh, with f uh, great feminine ways so you you will have to use more like curvy shapes or if he's very strong and um, someone who is quick to explode so you will more be using like some straight lines this will say a lot about a character this will say a lot um, about um, his mindset his way of thinking uh, so this is really important Uh, as important of the line of action because it's readable at first sight and when it's readable at first sight to me you're good you 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 done a very very good work so keep that in mind impact at first sight is very important then come colors coloration is very touchy subject because there is a lot to to talk about color but keep in mind you have to find the right balance so the eyes can focus on the main spot so you you will have to to learn or to to lead uh, the eyes of your audience so it can focus on the right spots and you will have to learn which colors can go with which ones so this is all about learning Or to combine them uh, to have a, a, a nice balance. Do you want to have a lot of saturations or that that will give a more dynamic um, impression, or do you do you like more less saturated colors and um, it will be more quiet and maybe you know it will the colors you will choose will give the ambience, will give the mood, will said a lot of things about your 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 craft so this was the three main points i wanted to share with you and that you need to exaggerate let me know in the comment below what you think if you have tips or advice i don't know and don't forget to like share and subscribe to be updated for the next topic see you in the next episode chris chris